Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to hop on here real quick and share with you some developing news that is coming along in one of these commission lawsuits that um, we are seeing pop up in numerous states across the country. And Thursday evening, the Department of Justice filed a statement of interest about a proposed settlement for the NOSELEC lawsuit, which is also known as the MLS PIN lawsuit. And in its statement, the DOG offered proposals to include in the settlement, including an injunction that would prohibit sellers from making commission offers to buyer brokers at all, as reported by Real Estate News. Now, that is going to be a significant change in how real estate deals work if this is, you know, comes to fruition. So it would suggest that... Um, sellers don't pay buyers agents at all, that they're not even going to be making um, offers of commission to the buyers agents. Um, the proposal aims to promote more competition by empowering buyers to negotiate directly with their own brokers. As long as sellers can make buyer broker commission offers, they will continue to offer customary commissions out of fear that buyer brokers will direct buyers away from listings with lower commissions. When sellers make such offers, buyer brokers need not compete on price to attract their buyers. The settlement does not ameliorate these dynamics. So if this gets adopted, that is going to totally change the way real estate deals work. And we think we have an affordability crisis in housing right now. If this were to come to fruition in, you know, a few months, a couple of years, however long it would take for this to come out, um, you're going to see a huge, huge decrease in the number of people who can buy a home. And I know it's going to play a big role here in East Tennessee because we do have a lot of buyers who have, you know, zero to five percent to put down on a home. And how are they going to come up with the money to be able to pay a buyer's agent to represent them in a transaction? And you say, well, they'll just go through the listing agent. Well, that's true. But who does the listing agent represent? The seller. Okay. So you're going to have someone who represents a different party's interests represent you in the biggest transaction you may ever make. That makes about as much sense as going through a divorce and using your soon-to-be ex-spouse's attorney as your attorney. You see what I'm saying? Like, they're getting paid by this other party. That's the party that they're going to represent their best interest. So, I hope that you will follow along with this story, watch the news, and stay informed. Because if this proposal were to work out this way and sellers are no longer able to even offer commissions to buyer broker agents, it's going to create a huge problem for buyers here in East Tennessee, especially that are looking to purchase a home. If you have questions about this, reach out. I can share with you what I know, but I would love to know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think this is a smart move? from the DOJ, would you like to see this come to fruition, or how do you think this should play out? Let me know your opinions in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you.